Hi, I'm Rose Willie from Encoder Fashion. I have some tips to make designing fun and easy for you. Let's do it! Okay, so we have a little issue here. Let me uh, click one on the page to deselect first. Then I'm going to rotate the pan to the front. Okay, so right here, this right front fly, we want it to go in a little bit further because we want this front left pan hover above this front right fly. To do that, I'm going to click on that fly right there. Then I'm going to rotate the pan to the sideways because we want to drag it inward, okay? Now I'm going to press on number two on the keyboard to see the front view of the pan. Then I'm going to press the spacebar to simulate. And I'm going to press on the space bars again to stop the simulation. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. So next, I'm going to sew this bottom part, okay? To sew the bottom part, I'm going to come over here to this second sew machine icon. Then hover the mouse to the right and select the segment sewing tool. After that, I'm going to click one right here to start the sewing. Then click one over here to sew that piece together. Next, I'm going to press on the space bar once again. Okay, so it's still struggling, but that's okay because we are going to sew this part right here to this part. Hopefully, it gets better. So to do that, while the segment sewing tool is active, I'm going to click one to start and then click one more right here to sew two. And I'm going to press down the space bars again to simulate. Then press on once again to stop. Okay, so I'm going to delete the front sewing part right here. To do that, I'm going to this edit sewing tool, click on it, then come back over here. Click on that sewing line right there and press on the delete key on the keyboard to delete. Next, I'm going to press on the space bar once again to simulate. Okay, I'm going to press on the space bar one again to stop. And I'm going to zoom in over here in this 3D workspace and pan it down a little. And zoom in a little more okay so i'm going to press on this simulation icon once again to simulate now i can use this hand tool to click and then drag this pan forward a little bit so to help the pan and then i'm going to press down the space bar to stop it looks better already so next i'm going to click one on the select slash smooth tool to get out of that sewing tool Okay, so I'm going to come over here and rotate that pan to the right a little bit. Okay, so it looks much better. After that, I'm going to come over here to the 2D workspace and zoom in a little bit, okay? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We unsewn this part right here. Now we want to sew it back, okay? To do that, once again, come over here to the Second sew machine icon, click on it and then hover the mouse to the right and select segment sewing. Then I'm going to click one right there to place the first sewing and then click once again over here on this front left hand pattern to sew to. Then I'm going to press down the space bar once again to simulate. Okay, after that I'm going to zoom in right here because i mentioned earlier that's the last part we want to sew for the zipper okay so i'm going to come over here to the second sew machine icon once again and click on it then hover the mouse to the right select the segment sewing tool after that i'm going to just zoom in a little more and i want to come right here see right there click one to start the sewing and then click over here to sew this front piece together. Okay, 
Next, I'm going to press on the space bar once again to simulate. Okay, that is pretty awesome. I'm going to press on the space bar once again to stop the simulation. After that, I'm going to come over here, click on the select slash move tool to get out of that sewing tool so we can see it better. Okay, so look at that guys, a zipper looks much better already. Thanks so much for watching Design Easter. I hope you find this video useful and consider subscribing it for more awesome videos.